given the extremely limited communication capacity and logistical challenges to ensure the safe and timely delivery of supplies to Puerto Rico. The group is coordinating through the professional members of the DERC, volunteers and relief organizations to identify needs. Supplies were shipped to Puerto Rico prior to Hurricane Maria's landfall, and, thanks to the many supply donations to Insulin for Life USA, the DERC has sent another shipment of life-saving insulin and diabetes management supplies following Maria. These shipments have been made possible through personal deliveries to healthcare providers using volunteer-based private flights. With the Jones Act being lifted last Thursday, we are hopeful that regular shipments by sea will resume soon, and that the airport will lift more flight restrictions so that the DERC can continue to arrange timely and secure delivery of diabetes supplies and insulin where they are needed. The DERC hopes that additional challenges related to the transportation chain fuel shortages, lack of trucks and their drivers, roads that are impassable will soon be overcome and our ability to provide vital supplies to those in need will be fully restored. The most significant and accessible resources are two phone lines for assistance 1-800-DIABETES for individuals with diabetes care needs and 1-314-INSULIN for physicians and healthcare providers to request diabetes supplies. Addis Center for Information, 1-800-DIABETES, is open from 830 a.m. ET to 800 p.m. ET 730 a.m. to 700 p.m. CT, Monday through Friday. The 1314-INSULIN Supply Request Hotline is staffed by members of the DERC and open from 900 m. ET to 600 p.m. ET 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. CT, Monday through Friday. Physicians and healthcare providers in need of supplies can also contact the hotline via text message and via WhatsApp. Please check diabetes.org hurricane relief for the latest information, including specific resources for support in Texas, Florida, Puerto Rico, and other islands in the Caribbean including the U.S. Virgin Islands, and during an emergency crisis such as this, it is critical for people with diabetes to have access to the medications and testing supplies needed to maintain proper blood glucose control, and to prevent serious sudden complications such as hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia 1. The Diabetes Emergency Relief Coalition, convened by the American Diabetes Association, includes JDRF, Insulin for Life USA, Endocrine Society, American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, American Association of Diabetes Educators, Research America and T1D Exchange. For more information about the DERC, click here. Every day since September 3rd, the DERC has sent one to two packages to the areas impacted by Hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Maria, each package containing approximately 80,100 pounds of insulin and diabetes management supplies, blank, 1 WHF Alu et al. The Hurricane Katrina Aftermath and its Impact on Diabetes Care Diabetes Care 291 http carediabetesjournalsorg Content 291158 View original content with multimedia http www.prenewswire.com News releases Diabetes Emergency Relief Coalition Continuous to support Puerto Rico and the Caribbean after Hurricane Maria 30052943.html Source American Diabetes Association Related Links http www.diabetes.org